Winter is coming, and so is Jon Snow. Back to life. <laughs> The biggest mystery leading into season six of Game of Thrones is whether or not Jon Snow is alive or dead. HBO's first teaser poster for the season features Jon Snow with his eyes downcast and blood splattered across his nose. People think the poster implies that he's alive. Here are some other clues in support of him returning next season. Kit Harington, who plays Jon Snow, said right after the finale, I've been told I'm dead. I'm not coming back next season. And D.B. Weiss, one of the producers on the show, was also quoted saying, dead is dead. Then Maisie Williams, the actress who plays Arya Stark on the show, told someone on the red carpet, he's dead, I promise. But there's a running fan theory that Jon Snow is going to be resurrected. George R. R. Martin, conducted an interview right after the book came out in which Jon Snow was stabbed fatally. He was speaking with a reporter who said, why'd you kill Jon Snow? That's such a bummer. And his response, oh, you think he's dead, do you? That seems pretty ambiguous, Martin. I'm Jon Snow. I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> it's a mere flesh wound. And this was pre-show hype. So this was when Martin was probably a little more lax with what he was saying in terms of spoilers. Then we have hair watch. We know that Kit Harington is under contract to keep his hair long while he is playing Jon Snow on Game of Thrones. He told someone he actually doesn't like his long hair. He wants to cut it as soon as he can. So the fact that he hasn't cut it yet is a clue that Jon Snow is still alive and we will be seeing him throughout the next season or so. For the night is dark and full of terrors. The actress who plays Melisandre gave an interview after the season five finale had aired. She had this idea that Melisandre was concentrating more and more towards Jon Snow and that something is going to happen. Why would you say that? if the character is completely dead and gone and never returning. People believe that Melisandre has arrived at the wall very conveniently in time to help Jon Snow come back to life from his fatal injuries. Historically, the San Diego Comic-Con Game of Thrones panels have featured major actors who were just killed off in the recent season. However, when the panel was announced for 2015, Kit Harington was nowhere to be seen. In mid-July, after the season five finale, HBO announced that they were gonna release a new collection called In Memoriam. It was gonna honor all of the fallen characters that have died throughout the first five seasons of Game of Thrones. Guess who wasn't on that list? People began citing Kit Harington in Northern Ireland around where Game of Thrones was being filmed. At first, you could pass this off as he was just there to film a funeral scene, but this set photo leaked of Kit Harington filming Game of Thrones wearing stark colored armor. The last time we saw him, he was Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. You are required to wear all black if you are in the Night's Watch. Unfortunately, we won't know for sure until April when the season airs, unless George R. R. Martin publishes that book first, which would be great. Like they should just announce it already, you know? Like this like teaser poster and they're all like, no, he's dead. But it's like, we all know, it's coming back. You know nothing, HBO, except technically they know everything.